so good evening everyone again once again good morning who are join across location thank you so much for joining today for the windows server administrator server 22 online session this is october batch and uh, let's start with the demo class so demo class so let me take my presentation all right so i'll use for the notepad to discuss with you guys notes Twenty ten, twenty twenty four. All right. So this is a session for scheduled Windows Server administrator, right? So many of you know that, you know. I would explain you for about myself and introduction and all once everyone registered in the first class. I just have a quick discussion on this. Who are working on desktop support, and who are already working on server support. and a little more you need to have a fill the gap for the you know technical skill set which is i'm going to help you so what we are going to cover right so we will be going to cover with the entire you know based on the it is little customized the syllabus uh basically we would be covering for the l1 l2 and l3 uh job role right we're considering keeping in mind for that is in what kind of day to day operations on windows server administrator and uh, overall uh, you know interview preparation as well interview preparation so we would be talking about that is in family of uh, windows operating system windows server operating system right so we will talk about uh, client operating system okay and uh, why we need to learn this you know operating system windows server administrator role right server operating system and we will be talk about that is in all the basic roles in servers so first most important we would be concentrating on uh, more deeply and architecture level we will be discussing on active directory okay so active directory would be covering on uh, you know multi forest environment in the multi forest we would be having for the completely we would need for the seven servers to complete our lab so these all seven servers are going to create uh, for you guys you should be using for the gcp which is google cloud i'll tell you that is how you need to be plan for the uh, lab point of view right i'll going to uh, show you in my lab what your lab but you guys as a student you can registered with this google cloud for uh, three months subscription and you would be able to get for facilities for the learner right if you wanted to purchase for the a good configuration server physical server it would be cost for the 1 lakh above indian rupees right for that it would give you the you know free of cost there no charge for it would be registering registration time it would be cost it will be you know taking you 2 rupees and then whatever the configuration you are going to do for each server each server we are going to uh, give for the 2 cpu and 4 gb memory 4 gb memory of each machine right you can say ram and 50 gb hard disk of each server so think about seven machine into this configuration 7 into 2 4 7 into 2 it's a 14 cpu 7 into 4 is a 28 gb ram and 7 into 5 is a 30 350 gb hard disk so these all configurations would be we are getting from the gcp for the free of cost right this is the best placement or best place for the learner i would suggest and i would tell you that how to do this lab manual would be there i can help you that is so in this active directory we will be creating infrastructure level ad infra which is as i said multi forest we would be creating for the forest creating a domain creating a multi site 
right and a domain controller or you can say multi domain controller so we would be talking about scenario based like for example uh, we would be talking about uh, replications right and would be talking about uh, trust relationship right activity related trust relationship and we would be talking about overall we would be going to build for the seven machine which is uh, creating for the multi forest how you are going to connecting how the user is getting authenticated one domain to other domain or one forest to other forest so deeply understanding this scenario once you know this concept we would be talking about operation activity which is called uh, organizational unit OU delegation, active directory groups, major topic, and group policy, right? And we would be talking about in detailed each of the topic, right? In a type of type of the group, AD group, right? In this group policy, we'd be talking about the detailed in the group policy. There's a default group policy. and uh, group policy mechanism mechanism and it's little advanced group policy we'll talk about and uh, we'll talk about group policy how to create group policy and link hierarchy of the group policy and uh, group policy replications how it works group policy policy definition right and uh, group policy filtering you can see the security filter right group policy backup and restore fine grain password policy right policy preference and uh, talk about wmi so these are all administrator must aware about this topic is a major topic for i would say this is group policy is a heart of system administrator who know the better of group policy concept i would say he he is a good administrator because major issues and major requirement bulk requirement would be handling by group policy only but once we know the concept of the group policy it will easy to manage for the bulk requirement right and we would be talking about some of the dns under the dns we will be talking about uh, primary dns server secondary dns server we would be talking about a zone which is comes under for forward look of zone and reverse look of zone we would be talking about records right would be talking about a stop zone dns backup and restore right so when you talk about the zone it would be it is also called as a primary zone and it's also called as a secondary zone so each zone you have that is each primary in a server you have a for a look of zone and reverse look of zone under this you would have records and we would be talking about what is the stub zone and dns backup and restore some properties we would be talking about time to live static and dynamic records would be discussing on this so another important topic called as a dscp a dscp is a important topic you would be talking about the basic of dscp then we would be talking about uh, multi scope you know creating a scope and multi scope 
we will be discussing about the single dscp server can manage multiple network okay what is the advantage and disadvantages we will talk about then we will talk about the multiple dscp server for what purpose we need to use it that is called as a load balancer on dscp we would be talking about uh, dscp relay agent right what purpose we need to use it and uh, multiple dscp using for the load balancer dscp backup and restore so we would be talking about ip address topic some for the networking concept we'll be talking about backup and restore and some troubleshooting we will be discussing the 10 use cases for interview preparation and the troubleshooting how to fix it i have a, a prepared document i would be going to share you later part so that document has updated for l1 l2 l3 activity and uh, after completion of this course you can prepare the document and uh, even though you does not have experience because you have done for the entire lab for your own and uh, the document will help you to that is in what kind of activity what kind of task you are handling day to day when asked the question and you would be able to answer confidently right by preparing the document which is production based document has been prepared i will share later once we actual class going to start right so now how we are going to work on this as i said we will be we will be preparing for this this way this is my single forest and in this forest we'll be creating for my domain and uh, we'll be creating for my default single site we'll have that is in my domain controller first we will be creating a domain controller and we will be creating another domain controller okay and uh, this forest name think about is my um, neil.edu example and this my forest name i mean domain name is also be part of the same domain always you remember first time when you going to create a domain it's always same as it is for the forest name both are same this is we call as a forest this is we call as a root domain right a root domain right and uh, we will be take a same use cases what we are using in uh, production think about we have in this location this location name is a example is a blr this location this site name this site name this location has a two domain controller and uh, overall for the operations point of view think about it is in 100 or 200 or 500 users 500 computer which is client machine right and how these 500 users and computers are working in this and how they are getting authenticated what are the operations uh, issues will come so we as a system administrator should handle it in a right manner right and whatever policies you applied how these people are getting applied so day to day operations you are giving them that is in a file server access right file server access group policy update so all how these users are you know properly working this is our responsibilities to take in care these users should not have any issues right when business expanded it would be going to for a branches open for within a domain or this is site mesh is a logical uh, creating the site right but actual business is physically site has been created think about this location would be the chhn which is called chhn right chennai so now our branch is expanded for the different location but we do not have any infrastructure there but all the chennai user get authenticated over the van getting authenticated to the bangalore domain controller so how feasible it is and how you know uh, without issues network without network issues how these are users are accessing but down the line if the numbers are increase 
increasing think about chennai location also we have the around the 7 800 users 900 users and around 1000 computers are there again there is a challenge as is these users are authenticating bangalore domain controller over the van what will happen if this network is down and there would be a little latency there would be a little slowness feeling these users because numbers are keep increasing traffic get increasing but we need to suggest we should have one more infra there in a chennai location one more site would be created and one more domain control should be needed here so what purpose we need to create and what is the disadvantages of uh, uh, having without infrastructure without domain control in other location all we need to discuss and then based on this all number of users are issues you know keep on increasing then we need to invest again uh, in this chennai location so once we had deployed one more domain controller this site so we would be talking about how do you create a new site within a domain within a domain how do you create how the replication is happening between these two site right what would be the when we talk about the replications we would be talking about uh, within the site between the domain controller and we would be talk talking about between the site all the domain controller by default active directory mechanism no matter how many sites are there within a domain no matter how many sites are within a domain all domain controller must replicated each other by default within a domain no matter how many sites are there no matter how many domain controllers are there all domain controllers must be get replicated each other by default this is a default mechanism right but we as a administrator to handle if that one of the sites or one of the domain controllers not replicated what would be the issues and where do i check all we would be talking about in detail so like this same this i have another site and we have a number of users are increased entire one domain this would ask you question during interview right what is your what is your infra how many servers are you handling what is your active directory infrastructure you should be able to answer yes we have that is you know multi forest environment we have the multi domain controller we have a branches across locations and i as a responsibilities with the team i am working looking for the entire active directory health check multiple domain controller replication status and wherever the issue is occurred or p1 p2 i would be the handling this kind of issue so this you should be designed properly you should be confidently explain during the interview then feel that even though you does not have experience no problem but the way of you explained people should think about okay you have a knowledge on that that is what you are going to learn practically in this session you would feel not for the training you know not for the skill set but you would be learning as experience why i am telling you because you know that is all topic if you go and google and, and type the youtube you will have a hell lot of information right if you are self learner each topic if you type in a youtube you will be getting in each and every explanation but you will not have a proper link a proper connectivity and you won't be able to having interest but in this training this is what we are working this is what the entire lab is going to discuss right you feel as experience yes you can imagine that is during interview we have done with this this kind of configuration and uh, we ha i have involved for that is one of the domain controls down on the respect to site and we have troubleshooted everything you can say like that because you are done for the lab your own right and same things your business expanded to the different domain in the different region different uh, location right think about is different country this entire infrastructure is in india and this domain within the forest this domain is located in uk how this is going to be created how this is going to be created new child domain uk.neel.edu right and uh, another domain created which is i don't want to use for my parent domain i should be completely different entity i wanted to create and this is belongs to say for instance so this is uk this is belongs to uk and we have that is in different domain controller here in the different site i mean different uh, domain all together think about this entire this all covering of the entire single forest right single forest we can create a multiple domain and multiple site and now when you ask the question for that how the replication is happening between the domain 
between the domain replications will happen okay within the default trust there will be a default trust is created right which is uh, this is called as a parent this is called as a child or i don't want to create a same entity in this domain i wanted to create a uh, different uh, you know this is uk think about this is canada right this is canada this is canada and i have another site and another domain control here and this is they think about um, uh, you know amit.com can i create a different name altogether in existing forest i have asked for the last week uh, during my interview right i have asked this question most of the who are more than 5 years of experience answer say no yes we can able to create a different domain name within a forest and that domain we called as a tree domain so this kind of information most of people are not aware and this won't be able to see any anywhere in the in the video or any of the you know free recorded session right this the name parent name you are taking hierarchically in the heritage of the parent domain name those domain we call as a child domain i don't want to take a parent domain right i don't want to take a parent domain i wanted to create a different entity altogether yes it is possible create that kind of name that domain we call as a tree domain within a forest so it is a by default a trust is going to create it between the parent child by default trust is going to create a by between this tree domain parent tree parent child but manually we are going to create it between these two domain child and tree that is called as a shortcut domain that is called as a shortcut trust shortcut trust right so these are all you need to understand that is in deeply right this is never be going to see you or never be going to create in any of the you know organizations when we know this entire infrastructure point of view then we would be able to handle easily operations activity if any issue or any user any location user having issue you we need to you know we need to check properly okay those users are belongs to which locations those users are belongs to chhn then i don't need to check any of the bangalore or any other domain i should go and check it the bangalore domain as so in chennai domain controller and we would be seeing the design replication happening or not that users how many users are impacted those users are belongs to which you so when you know the infra better way your troubleshooting is also very easy to man right you can explain them okay this user you were on the way to home to office or office to home and you got a call there is a issue happen you can directly manage from the call only okay which location users are impacted how many users are impacted you just handle them tell them that, okay just check this this domain controller go to that and try to ping try to connect it right until you reach to home you can handle it so if people does not have their infra in handy and they not understood their infrastructure what they are supporting troubleshooting is very, very difficult right so this is how it will be designed and we would be talking about the same way and to creating a practically right and now we have that is another forest which is my organizations acquire different uh, company yes that is also be possible this is think about uh, another uh, well established organizations is running in this with a single for a single domain right think about this is uh, arsha.com right and uh, right and this is domain is also part of this asha.com right so this is already well established and here also you have that is in multiple site and multiple domain controller and now your company is neil dot neil.edu is acquired right how we need to plan that is and how this domain users get authenticated to this infrastructure then who would be creating for the region forest trust these are all we are going to do the practically right once this is designed once is infrastructure is ready then we can plan for all the our day to day operations activity how do you create a oeo how do you create a delegation how do you do the group policy concept right right so this is we are going to talk about a forest trust right how authentication happening between these two forest right
So we talk about the active directory forest of is a parent child by default. Okay, parent domain by default trust, parent tree is also by default trust created. This is manually, we need to create a shortcut trust between the domain and the forest trust, we need to create a manually. We'll tell you that is in during you know our actual class, how we need to create a trust and all. So when this is authentication happening, then this domain users would be able to authenticate it, my another domain, right? So this is how we need to plan the decision. In this domain, uh, we have a file server and one of the department user would, would provide the access to the, across entire my forest, entire my organization, right? So it would be like this. It's become a one organization, right? And now how do you manage it? So you have the entire, in this kind of enterprise level architecture, we would have the multiple team would be there, right? In this entire organization, we have the applications team, management team, software development team, database team, backup team, right? And uh, business point of view, HR team would be there, sales team would be there. All organizations point of view, how we need to provide them proper access and how do we, you know, stable their access and stable their issues, everything. Who knows a better system administrator concept, you would be able to handle it. So in this, we would be talking about how my DNS works and how the DNS is resolving, name resolving, what would be the, you know, applications integrated in my domain and that they wanted to create the records and all, we would be creating for those infrastructures. Right. And based on the requirement, custom requirement would come that is, okay, I need this policy for this specific domain at this specific site, right? And this specific, there are all the custom requirement would come. And uh, when we have a skill, when we have a knowledge, we would be able to handle it better way and we can able to achieve. If it does not have a, uh, you know, skill, then we can, uh, we can tell that this will not be possible. But we need to think about all aspects. See, it would be possible 100%. So when you know this kind of concept, you would be able to handle easily. All right. So for anyone has any question? Any question? Able to, able to mute yourself? Sorry, unmute yourself. Or you can raise your hand, I can uh, help you to unmute. Feel free to ask if you have any question. You can raise your hand. I can make to unmute yourself. Okay. Yeah, someone is coming. You are able to ping. Yeah. Who is it? AHO. Okay. Please, you raise your hand. Who wanted to talk or want to have any of questions? Feel free to ask your question. This is your day, and don't keep questions in your mind. You can also generic whatever you have a generic and point of your career and all. So you can go ahead and ask question. Okay, go ahead, please, sir. Unmute yourself and talk. Yeah, go ahead, HOPU. Unmute yourself and speak. Okay, no, you can you can paste your questions. Okay, what designation will get after this? So your designation will be depends on the company. The first designation would be system administrator, I would say. System administrator is a designation. You're working in desktop support. So you have to upgrade or upskilling ourselves. And uh, we need to, you know, goal is to get a good package, right? So good package means what we need to have the well, you know, good confident on the technical skill, right? AD Forest. So in this depends on the company should have their resignation would be four to five years of experience. You would be able to see this system administrator, I would say. And some people have that system engineer also, right? 
and some people have the technical support technical support in my designation was a system operations operation specialist when i was working ibm right which is system operations specialist okay depends on the company they would be having for this kind of but ultimately the more you have experience you would be coming as again senior system administrator okay this was designation when i was in wipro right senior system administrator and uh, then you the more experience you are going to having this you would be able to as a lead administrator right and uh, technical consultant right and then you would be able to this when you reach the technical consultant or sme it would be in l3 level and uh, manager level technical manager this was in my last company cognizant okay on supporting for the ed right and you have the senior manager also on technical this is how is going to be you know our career we have to plan that you should think about after 10 year i should be a better position and i should be having a, a you know good package and how it is going to be happening this all career point of view this is how we need to plan it right no vmr we don't cover it i will be going to explain you for that is in uh, yeah wss we can help you and uh, server migrations won't support but we'll we'll talk about upgradation so upgradation we'll talk about okay this upgradation would be windows 2008 to windows 2012 or so windows 2012 to windows 20 section we can plan this okay so these are all standard you know topics are there should be should be aware about where interview would ask you so patch wss you wanted to those but nowadays wss won't be having much of the company they would be using for specific sscm which i have seen that is in some people are using for the lan desk very few cases are using wss windows software update service for the patching but i'll tell you that how it works okay so i i don't know that you guys are how much experience you have but my intention is i would direct you or i would suggest you based on the experience ultimately you should have the better designation or with a good company and along with this you should have the good package ultimately it is a matter there is a no point having a 10 years of experience and i'm getting for the reason a 7 or 8 lakh package not good okay you need to we need to plan for accordingly our career point of view we should upskill ourselves i would suggest no worries no worries that's what you should not have a one year gap but yeah you know but you need to plan accordingly start again so that is that is you have to start even though you get a less package uh, chandrashekar even though you get a less package no worries but start career because the more i would recommend the person has a technical sound right that is we need to have the more you know i believe on this technical sound technical skill should be powerful no one will touch you right i would not uh, recommend you only having a you know windows server i would recommend you that is in along with this is a continue of skilling you must learn powershell you must learn azure these are all continuity to you know your our career which is i am into the same journey so i am basically start with my windows server active directory so little bit i worked on vmware and uh, i you know learned and completed powershell which is ps means powershell i completed on azure and uh, now it is is azure enter id right azure ad right and uh, so i am into the multi cloud now which is consulting on cloud infrastructure right you this is how the journey would start right so this is you can plan it i'm currently working in as a cloud consultant security consultant right specifically when i talk about cloud means azure so azure 
security consultant right so this is my designation which i can show you that my later you know once you guys are registered you would like you would like this today session you can please contact amit and who are joined with from my side uh, you know uh, kiran uh, other students you can reach out to me for the you know timing of this course total course duration is yes this is helping but certification already microsoft has stopped right yes you, you can join for the as a fresher because everyone want to make you know a career that right? you can start this is the best time for you to start so maximum people fresher has a confusion what to choose but this is the best you wanted to have a good package in it field please go and join it so this course will help you certification microsoft is already stop supported microsoft on on prem infrastructure they have come to that is in az800 for the hybrid okay it is con combination of cloud and on premises now microsoft has bought it is an az900 certification there is no more microsoft certification for on prem infrastructure server infrastructure they have already stopped right so now instead of that they have started az800 for the hybrid which is on prem whatever you learning this plus additional hybrid i mean uh, azure those topic added az800 they made a certification az900 for the completely for azure fundamental fundamental and az104 is a associate cloud administrator right and uh, sc300 is uh, you know identity access management so when you talk about the certification you should go with this right it's a full fledged our career point of view okay you can skip az900 az800 directly talk about the once you have a knowledge on this and you can plan this way all right i have a 3.0 years of experience on windows server administrator when i see job description they are asking for the more on vmware so patching server upgradation ad see now what's happening there is a two areas first you need to make a primary skill right primary skill you should you are mixing that is in your resume multiple you know then obviously they would ask you so primary skill what you have the windows server support because if you take my profile at time i am not into the anywhere in the vmware i have not mentioned anywhere but yes patching you should have a knowledge and upgradation you should have knowledge that we need to uh, you know add on separately windows server administrator in this what is coming here active directory all the major it is an ad infrastructure you should uh, you know good confident on that but when you go to the vmware it's again different technology which is you should have the knowledge in asxi box right you have that all the data center right all you need to learn for that is in vmr part but having i worked on this having knowledge is not harm but you should make sure that is in what is your primary skill and what is your secondary skill so after the covid you know that everyone how the situation is happening for the it infrastructure where you know that already more on into the automation says into the picture and ai is coming to the it right so very difficult or very challenge for an it admin but we have to have learn guys there is no other options when we are not upskilling ourselves you will not be able to reach our goal it would be like that only the experience are increasing but our package will not increase when is going to our package increase obviously when we have a more skill when we have more skill you need to keep on you know keep on eye for what technology for so the relevant you can talk about right you no need to have a divert in your primary skill set right so yes you need to add on those ultimately this along with this when you talk about is in a powershell right the powershell is one of the automation where uh, the maximum people are asking for the how do you how, do you know that is in powershell so last week yeah we picked up three profile who has a powershell knowledge where it will help us to uh, you know for automation part so we rejected for who has even a good experience who who done for the certification also we picked up the profiles because of this people having knowledge on powershell automation this would be major major benefit major weightage for your career to do along with your manual work you should think about little smarter way and uh, i think everyone agree with agree with me that is in everyone are looking for little you know how that is company are optimizing optimization for their work right reducing the manual work ultimately the goal is to company looking for reducing the cost right 
they were not looking for okay we are working on 100 ticket on one week and we keep on doing the repeated work for the whatever you doing yesterday you are doing today tomorrow also doing what is the additional what is the you know uh, productivity you are showing to the company to, to for the project you know the from since last one year working and uh, what are the changes you have bought it you can say the confidently these are last three month i have observed and i feel that is in this is something we need to change or we need to something different way i have implemented this earlier it was coming this many ticket and after implemented this and it is completely drastically reduced and because of this implementation we have reduced the manual work we have reduced the human error and the time saving the most important this is what we have done it always you need to keep on mind this has to be implemented no not covering the ssm ssm is a separate topic again as as i said the deployment part completely cover up the ssm right system center configuration management is separate the course is it itself so we are talking about uh, vinil so we, this is a completely windows server administrator training so i would be covering about system administrator when you talk about the, again ssm that ssm is a different again like vmr right vmr is a again sxi box again so, so now having a skill is no harm please learn it ssm again for the all the deployment part right every deployment the deployment you have that is in operating system deployment patch deployment right application deployment right software deployment all deployment is cover up that is in ssm right and you so you know that you mobile device management right it is uh, covering and just come to the, again office 65 also is a different topic right office 65 you have that is in uh, um, you know intune also you have that separate topic right and endpoint you have the separate topic these are all all see these are all you know area for the same area only where we are supporting and we cannot learn all these things but you have a knowledge yes go ahead right and i would say this of sscm office 65 into is the same platform and endpoint same platform which is device management people are managing i would say the protector you know the persons having vmr which is all uh, esxi box and uh, and data center this vmware plus windows server i would agree with this if you have additional skills it that's fine and windows server administrator plus powershell active directory and azure this is one complete which i am into the same platform so this is one area so don't confuse and 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 in this when you are moving to the cloud you can plan for the devops as well Azure DevOps, right? You have to move on to the next again, you know, further skills, further that is latest what skill we have that is. So the company more on demanding on the latest technology. Yes, we need to keep learning on this. This is how we need to. Other otherwise, you are not learning for the upcoming skills or upcoming uh, technical skill set. We will not be. We will be sitting the same place. So, the goal is when you reach the fifteen years of experience, my package would be fifty lakh. or more than that right 15 years of experience we need to plan accordingly 15 years of experience at least you should be having for the more than 30 lakh per per annum so we need to reach this place there is no big deal in this right we have a lot of competition we have the lot of challenges we need to do we need to face it we need to fight it we have to move on when you have a good skill and a strong skill with you keep on learning and keep 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 doing for the good work and keep up skilling yourself agreed yes or no right this is the career point of view guys that's it no so you will have all you know everything is available right so we need to little spend time to system we need to open a laptop just try with this right so every uh, day you should spend one hour what we are going to do still i am also working this is my passion it for to taking you class for the every weekend and this is you know both i am learning and earning for that it would be good all right so we have spent almost 15 minute now i hope you understood today session and uh, you got the clarity and what you are going to do and uh, if you really like this today session then please talk to mr amit for the this course duration would be okay course duration is 36 hours overall and i'm going to help you the later part you know some interview preparation 
and uh, so how do you plan for your career point of will will take you one session for this okay so trust me whoever completed training from my side and this training and everyone i got the job from last batch also the one person got the 17 lakh which he pinged me in whatsapp two people ultimately so one person is got directly non site yeah we will be talking about all i am having an interview in the yeah. company and i am on windows server yes i you can can you suggest interview tips overall they would ask you that is in you know you need to just confident in the in the call right they will ask you tell about yourself and what is your day to day activity or handling the two first questions you need to explain properly right and then they would come you that is in third question i ask you that is in what challenge you handled recently right you should make a note you can make and you can well prepared those questions you should answer confident then when i ask you the technical whatever you update in your resume and those topic only they'll ask you right so those you need to make sure don't don't bring don't you know contain to put in lot of thing in resume whatever you have knowledge that much only you can put it right so one thing i'll tell you do not do not have a gap in your education if it is there you need to tell the proper reason and uh, you do not have any gap in your experience if it is more than 2 years of experience and you need to tell what is the reason that should be recommended or that will be considerable so that is only some some people have a drawback to you know getting a good company a job right this person you can call 9540666 Two eight zero six. Please contact Mr. Amit. Uh, this course duration is thirty six hours, and it is a online training weekend batch. Okay, only weekend. Since I am also working for the weekdays, so timing would be we will plan for later. So how you wanted to, we will uh, you know discuss. We will discuss this, and we'll plan for whichever you know in day time, morning or evening time we can plan it. so point of contact you can discuss with him amit for you liked it you wanted to go with i would suggest one more don't think more so you can little more invest i believe that is that invest whatever you are spending time and invest that make you to take you the different way different career because we are not investing anything our skill set right the skill is a most important you do not invest any of the product or something to make a business but you have to put lot of effort but when you invest on your skill on your you know uh, career point of view for the knowledge you are investing i am sure that would not be anything in a wastage and that would not be you know uh, uh, it make you more career that i would say this today you were spending maybe 10 to 15000 rupees for this course but you will be reaching to the where i just said that is in when you reach a 15 years of experience your package would be 30 lakh plus but this is a career this is the directions you would get it what you are going to do so maximum people are losing their career because of they do not have a right direction they don't have right direction still they are sitting there only when they have got the comfort zone they are sitting there only they do not have a right direction but you need to little spend time little put effort that would be recommended that would be demanding for your your you know current skill set that's it when you put effort obviously you would be getting the good package and good skill good company right all right so thank you so much for today's session for uh, joining us and uh, i'll be opening another few minute for become one hour so let me know if you have any anyone has any questions feel free to ask right you are you are like this today session please contact mr amit for more discussion about the fees and about the timing and uh, let's meet up the next week if you liked it okay i'm just pasting in the chat for amit number please take it Zero six. Okay, zero double six, two eight zero six. Right. So thank you so much, guys. Can you copy paste the note? Yeah, I'll help. I'll paste. I'll share the recorded everything. Don't worry. Okay, take it. so it is not coming here so don't worry I'll, i'll this is already session is recorded and this notepad and uh, you know 
this record session would be going to share you later. All right. So if no question, we can wind up. Okay. Thank you so much guys for today's session. And uh, if you really like, please contact Amit and uh, let's get registered and let's meet up the next week. Take care. Bye-bye.